Hi, how you doing today? Today we're in Proverbs chapter 28. <laughs> Three chapters to go. It's taken us almost the entire year, but it's been a great study in the book of Proverbs. Verse 1, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. So what's it say? The wicked flee when no one pursues. Because the wicked, they know they're doing wrong. And, and even though what happens, they hear a rumor or something, even though no one's actually pursuing them, they're so scared because they know they're so wrong. Um, th those who do wrong, they, they, they're they fearful of the littlest things. And you got to realize that because here's because when you know you're doing something wrong, you have that feeling inside of you and, you and then you know. And it doesn't just come to like armies and that. When you're walking with the Lord and and you know you did something wrong, you need to get right with the Lord, you, you begin to fear what? You begin to fear oh. I can't go to church today. What if someone finds out? I can't. I can't do this. Oh, I, I, I boy, I, I pray the Lord and all this and and got going on. And sorry, I was looking up. I had some bug in the room. Uh, but uh, you know, you have all these things going on, and, and we begin to allow things to come into our lives and and the boogeyman, for lack of a better word, and we start to fear what's going on. When God says, "I can deliver you right there and then," you know, it's really easy to stop being wicked. Just ask God to forgive you, and boom, you're clean again. And it's it's really simple, but but <clears throat> people do it. They're, they're paranoid. You know, look at all the go in history. Look at the dictators. Um, let's take one uh, from World War II, Stalin. Um, you know, he, he he. The main reason Russia had so many problems because when he came to power, he was so concerned that his generals and that and, and people close to him were going to try to overthrow him. He had them killed in a purge. That's why the Germans almost destroyed Russia. And actually, they, they should have, but we're not getting to a history lesson today. But what happened was uh, they, they just made some blunders. Um, and uh, But God was on all that because, you know, if that would have happened, boy, the whole world would be totally different today. Uh, would you like to see someone like Hitler's son still in power today? Well, that'd be, oh, that'd be a horrible world. Uh, so God had his hand in those things. But, but, but they get paranoid. And you know what? The wicked do. But the righteous are as a bold line. When you're doing the right thing, simply because it's the right thing to do. Now, righteous doesn't mean you're perfect. I, I know I say that a lot, but it has to be said over and over again. I never know who's watching the show. But you remember, it means a person who's desiring to do what God says. And when they make a mistake, they say, God, I'm going to fix that. And they're a bold as line because you know what? They know two things. Number one, they know that, uh, that the boogeyman doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. And second of all, God says, I will raise up a hedge of protection around them. I'll raise up a standard around those who do the right thing. I will be there for them. And they can stand and they can be bold as a lion, even though they're one person. Because also Jesus says, what? When you're right with the Lord, you can put a thousand people to flight. That's a powerful God can make you. And all you got to do is do the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do. What an amazing thing God has for that. All right, so uh, verse 2. Because of the transgression of a land, many are its princes. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. You know, transgressions. So there's, there's, there's many transgressions, many things that go wrong. And what happens is so there's many princes, many people trying to vie for power. When things are not going well, everybody likes to jump in and try to say, I got it, I got it, I got it, trust me, trust me. Politics. You know, right now we're in election season. What's you just watch TV, watch any political. Everybody says, I got the right answer. I got the right answer. Why? Because there's the wickedness all around. God says, get right. And guess what? Everybody be on the same page. If we're all following God, we're all going in the same direction. And guess what? Everybody's going to be helped because we're all part of the family of God. See, we're, we're splintered. And But a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. Because see, when they understand, there's only one right way. There are not 20 different right ways. There's only one right way. And we decide to line up behind the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and go in the right way. It will be prolonged. And one person can bring so many on that path and go in the right direction, in the right way, and see amazing things happen. Wow, isn't that awesome? Praise the Lord. God is so good. And we got to allow that to happen. And then right can be, what, what do we want? We want right to be prolonged. The thing is, it's not what you think is right. It's not what some political party thinks is right. It's not what anybody else in your life thinks is right. There's only one right thing, and that's this right here. The Bible tells us what is right, and we all follow that. Guess what? If you, When you read the Bible, you realize when you do what the Bible says, everybody's blessed by it. No one's left behind. God says, I know everybody's deepest desires and I'm ready and willing to have a relationship with each and every one of them and make their dreams come true. Now, that's a great thing. Isn't that great? 
Isn't that awesome? And, and when God says what's right, read the Ten Commandments. There's not, there's not a bad one there. If everybody lived by the Ten Commandments, no one's jealous. No one's envious. No one steals. No one lies. No one commits adultery. Adultery is not just about marriage. It's just about breaking promises. How many people make pro break promises in this world? You think of uh, honoring the parents. You think about that's such an important one because we're all we all have parents, right? God says you have a long life on earth, but then you're going to have kids. You're going to be a parent. So if everybody's honoring their parents, everybody's being honored. What, what, what an amazing thing that is. Uh, and then you have the once about God. There's only one God. Hey, that's good. Yeah, you don't want you don't want ten gods. You want one. Um, don't don't put some in place of God. Uh, give God one day a week is is keeping it holy. And definitely don't take God's name in vain. I mean, if, if it's God, you definitely don't want to use God as a curse word. And give God a day of a week for for a date on 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 Sunday or or Saturday. We have Saturday and Sunday, sir. Saturday at seven, Sunday at ten a.m. You know, give God that time of your week. And you know what God do? He'll give you the time of day the other six days of the week. What a great thing that is. So you want to have right prolonged. Just choose to do the right thing. Don't listen to what anybody else has to say. Listen to what God has to say. I hope you have a great weekend. And hey, we got church Saturday at 7, Sunday morning at 10, online service at 2 o'clock. Hope you have a great week. And 6 o'clock is our Sunday school. Uh, don't let the enemy have a seat at your table. So have a great day. And remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. And you're absolutely awesome.